Vapes and Games here once again. Today we want to discuss a little known thing, which is Diablo 4. And it's a little bit of a peeve point with a lot of people currently and with everything that's going on. With gaming at the moment, I just want to spend a little bit of time and just talk about why I think people need to sort of ease up and not be so hard on Diablo currently. I think they have made mistakes and I think there's been a lot of problems with the game. Now, I'm going to outline a few of the issues currently that are bringing this game down, okay? So first and foremost, you've got the fact that when it came out, it was in a horrendous state. After the campaign, there was pretty much nothing to do. We then got followed up with a slew of patches that buffed, debuffed, nerfed, changed things around and completely ballsed up the game. It was campfire chat after campfire chat. Then there were battle passes. And then finally, there was a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel, which was season two. Now, season two, by rights, was quite good. Uh, I really enjoyed it. A lot of people did. The vampiric powers were on point. But then they uh, made a rod for their own back by basically setting the bar so high for season three that when season three come around, season of the construct, nobody likes it. And I can't blame them. It's not the best. It's convoluted. It's complicated. The story's not as good. Obviously, with the vampiric powers, you got the sort of mini story with the demon hunter back's back end on it and... There were little cutscenes and bosses and whatnot. Whereas this one just kind of feels like vanilla Diablo 4 with a spider. But nonetheless, the core problems that I'm feeling that are striking this game currently, okay? There's too many live service games, all right? People need to stop making live service games, uh, long-term financial endeavors, microtransactions uh microtransaction stores i mean for god's sake let's just take a look at this here so straight away let's just have a look what it recommends so pale mischief uh jade scorpion the mad jester i mean none of them are particularly amazing but they'd be much better as lootable armor sets in the game. I mean, I think we can all agree that these sets would be a hell of a lot better if you could loot them. All right. Also, let's look at some facts here, right? 2,400. 20 pounds. 20 pounds you've got to spend to buy that. 21 pounds to be precise. Just a little bit ridiculous. Then you've got your battle pass, which is kind of hard ingrained into the game. All right. So, they're really like doubling down on this crap, focusing in on it. And this is problem number one, live service. We don't need all this shit. If you want to make patches, you want to add new stuff, great. Just put it in the expansion. Charges for the expansion, job done. We don't need weekly monthly uh, an excuse to press the buy button every two minutes it's just ridiculous so moving on from that it's kind of similar point we've also got the fact that there's too many live service games you've got like hell divers you've got call of duty you've got on the pc side if you play more 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 pc side you've got path of exile um i mean the list goes on. Everything now seems to want to be a live service game that you invest your goddamn life into. And the problem is, with a game like this, rather than raising the level cap and having par Paragon levels and stuff like that, like they had in Diablo 3, where you feel like you're constantly evolving and building your character, you're pretty much restarting every season, right? So there are your first couple of problems. Next problem, all right? Every single season, you restart from zero, right? So you've got to go through this grind. Now, the grind is a grind. It's not called a grind because it's not a grind. It's a grind. It's it's, it's terrible. Um, some classes are horrible at leveling. Some classes are better at late game. Nonetheless, it 
just feels like you're going through the motions for the sake of it. Now, one way that they can alleviate that is to just generally make the game better. So where am I going with all this? I started off the video and I'm like, you know what, there's hope for this game and whatnot. So essentially what they're doing now with Diablo is they're ripping it back. Stripping it back. They're taking away all the bullshit. All the silly stats. And they're simplifying the weaponry. They're simplifying the stat system. Which should have been done on day one. Let's be honest. But they didn't. There's all this vulnerable crap. Damage to slow, damage to chill, damage to poison, damage to vulnerable, overpower damage. All this, that and the other. Couple of problems with that, yeah, it's very complicated. People don't understand it, right? People who do understand it are mathematical savants and they make these builds that just overpower and break the game. There's no winner on either side of that coin flip, all right? So then we break it down to your casual players. I honestly believe, and this is a hot take, this game is going to be more popular on console and playing it on PS5. I do have it on PC, but I prefer it on PS5. I think it was designed as a console game and I think it plays better on a controller. Controversial, I know, you may not agree with me, but by the by, that's how I feel. I think it needs to find its own place in the market. It needs to stop trying to be a hardcore uh, action RPG like Path of Exile and all these other games. And it needs to lean on its casual sort of gameplay idea with sort of hardcore-ish fundamentals that come in later. And what I mean by that is easy to learn, hard to master fundamentals so, moving forward, they are looking at simplifying the weaponry, the passives, introducing new things. It's not going to stop the fact that the in-game cosmetics that you pick up are crap because they're going to keep trying to sell you them through the store. That is just going to happen. I'm not really too bothered. I'm quite happy with the way my character looks regardless, and I'll just use transmog in this in the game. So that's no issue. Battle pass is what it is. It's going to stay. They're still going to tie it in. They're still going to do seasons. But for the long-term picture, a couple of things they are going to be doing. They're going to be simplifying it down so it's a little bit easier for the casual players to understand. I think they're going to speed up the XP progression uh, massively. So when you start a new season, you are going to be able to get to max level a lot quicker. They are introducing uh, sort of a vendor where you'll be able to reshift and rejig stats which will be very, very, very good. And stats will be easier to understand, so people will be able to have a play about with that. I mean, currently, if we look at this, we've got Dex, Fire Resist, and Maximum Life. That's not too bad. Barrier Generation, 2% damage reduction. I mean, it's just all over the place, isn't it? Let's be brutally honest. 13% damage to injured enemies. Why? Why give me a rank of flurry? Plus 7 all stats. Why? Why not just put willpower, dex, in strength, vi vitality? Just keep it simple, yeah? Uh, the only passive that anyone should ever be asked about is the one right at the bottom. Simplify this damage. 813 damage per second, but they say 723 to 10, uh, 1085. What does that mean? Just give me a flat value, yeah? Attacks per second. Who cares? Vulnerable damage. Get rid. I want to see, hang on, this one does 800, this one does 900. Which one's better? Well, have a guess. At the moment, I see an 800, 900. Which is better? Who fucking knows? I don't fucking know. Do you know? Right? Damage to close enemies. These stats are bollocks. And they are getting abolished. Thank the fucking Lord. Right? So, next thing they could do, or what they are doing, is changing the gem system up they're going to be uh simplifying the gems and what they actually do bringing it closer to diablo 3 i believe the diablo 3 gem system was far superior they've kind of gone with the diablo 3 gameplay aesthetic and a diablo 2 gem system it just doesn't work next open world the open world stuff uh we're talking about your strongholds uh, and all the rest of it nobody's doing them and i'll tell you why one, the fucking boring. Two, you get ball reward. They're not thematic and they feel like a grind. On top of that, I'm currently level, what, 47? Am I 47? What level am I? Yeah, 47. All right. 
I'm literally spending all my time at the moment going around doing dungeons to unlock my passives. Because my character is literally dog shit without any passives. If you want people to do these, these world events, hell tides and strongholds and whatnot, start me off with all my passives that I've unlocked from prior seasons. What is the point in keeping my waypoints and where the dungeon locations are unlocked, but grey them out? Alter a Lilith, grey out. And just basically making me go around and recollect everything. What's the point? It's absolutely ridiculous. I want to go here, undiscovered. I've discovered it last season, but now I can't. To make these instantly, uh, you get the passive unlock straight away. If you do it a second time, possibly give it a chance to re-roll a better passive than the one you looted. Or even better, give you like a legacy reward, something else. I don't know. Make it worthwhile to go back and do that. Your world events need upping, make it more fun. Now, apparently the hell tides in the next season in the PTR patch are absolutely better in everywhere. XP rewards, monster density, and everything else. The world bosses by rights are being adapted. There's going to be more outdoor and world activities, which will suit this game a lot better. They're also bringing back um, greater rifts. They're not calling them greater rifts. Calling them the pit. Uh, essentially, it's going to be an endless tower, uh, sort of key keystone where you put your key in. You can keep doing harder and harder and harder and harder difficulties. The great thing about that is for people that don't want to do the questing, people who don't want to do the dungeon objectives, the pit is purely go on a map and just kick the ass, kick the living shit out of everything. That's all you do. Nothing else. Quite simple. It's very much. Diablo 3's mechanics being brought into Diablo 4. So that in itself, at max level or later on, you could just play that on its own. If you did enjoy the way Diablo 3 played, that's basically coming to Diablo 4. There are a lot of big changes. I didn't really know where I was going with this video, but I hope some of my thoughts and feelings have come across on the future of this game and where it could go potentially. But I think... If you're on the fence about playing it currently, yeah, get into it, have a feel about, see how the systems work, the uh, the trees and whatnot. But I think it's still finding itself, it's still very much in early access, and it's not really got its identity yet. I think once the weapon starts to simplify down, the open world content is bolstered, and we have other avenues for levelling that don't feel as monotonous and forced that are more organic, like the pit, like the fact that we'll be able to jiggle stats around on great items that we do loot, better loot drops, more meaningful places to get loot drops, and a more diverse yet directed way to end game will be well appreciated, and it is much needed. There's way too much shit going on currently. It's very confusing for the average player. Builds are not easy to make. People don't understand what they're doing with them. The items that you then need to bolster your build are completely confusing and convoluted. Most players come on the map and they're like, do I do a dungeon? Do I do a basement? Do I do a quest? Do I go and get a lily statue? People don't know what they're doing. And then the people that have overcome all this crap to finally, you know, the hardcore lovers of the Diablo series like myself that finally take the time to learn it, and learn the systems and get into it on a deeper level, get bored and piss it off anyway. I am here to let you all know I am going to see out this season and get to level 100, and I am going to be doing sort of an update where I'm up to with my build, what I'm currently using and what I'm currently doing on the channel. So if that's something that does interest you, comment, like, and subscribe. And send up in the comments about what you thought of today's video. I know it's been a bit free form and a bit all over the show. But I just felt like I had to vent. Uh, just a few things in my mind that are just going on with this game. It's very confusing. It's a very simple metric. Give the player what they want. So I hope you've enjoyed this. And I'll, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.